dear students so today we are going to study the classes of drugs and cosmetics which are prohibited from import the first thing is any drug which is not of standard quality is not allowed to be imported the quality or the standard quality of a drug is defined in the second schedule of the act further any misbranded drugs or misbranded cosmetics or spurious cosmetics along with adulterated drugs or spurious drugs are not allowed to be imported into the country further any drug or cosmetic which requires a license to be imported is not allowed to be imported unless it is on the same license further medicines whose label does not bear the true formula of its ingredients or composition is not allowed to be imported to the country drugs which purport to cure or mitigate any disease are not allowed to be imported and cosmetics which are unsafe or harmful are also not allowed to be imported into the country drugs and cosmetics which are prohibited by any of the rules are also not allowed to be imported into the country a small mnemonic to remember this is small dpcup so d for small stands for standard m for misbranded a for adulterated l for license and l for label and then you have uh, drugs who's uh, prohibited for uh, which purport to cure then you have cosmetics which are unsafe and then finally you have drugs and cosmetics which are prohibited so this is the small mnemonic that you can use to remember the various laws coming to the standard quality that we discussed recently the first point it says that in relation to a drug the drug which complies the standard set out in the second schedule of the act is a standard drug and in relation to a cosmetic the cosmetic complies with such standards as may be prescribed so for cosmetics it's as per the prescribed standards and for drugs it is the second schedule finally let us elaborate upon the details of prohibition of import of certain drugs or cosmetics so as per the central government notification in the official gazette no person shall import any drug or cosmetic so it includes both drugs and cosmetics which is not of standard quality any misbranded drug or misbranded or adulterated cosmetics any adulterated or spurious drug any drug or cosmetic for the import of which a license is prescribed other by otherwise than other and in accordance with such license so whatever you are importing be it a drug or a cosmetic it should be as per the prescribed license any patent in proprietary medicine unless there is displayed in the prescribed manner on the label of the container thereof the true formula or the list of active ingredients contained in it together with the quantities so it should have the true formula or the list of active ingredients along with the quantities and the label should bear all these things if it is a patent drug or it is a proprietary medicine any drug which by means of any statement design or device accompanying it or by any other means purports or claims to cure or mitigate any such disease or ailment to have any such other effect as may be prescribed so any drug which makes any claims to cure or mitigate a disease or an ailment is not allowed to be imported any cosmetic uh, uh, containing any ingredient which may render it unsafe or harmful under the directions indicated or recommended so for a particular cosmetic they are saying that it should be used as per the directions indicated or recommended for example if a particular product is to be used on a face and it is used on the eyes or somewhere else and it causes harmful effect that won't be considered as prohibition for import however if a product to be used on face is used on the face and it causes unsafe or harmful effect then it will be prohibited from import any drug or cosmetic import of which is prohibited by rule 
made under the chapter so if there is any rule which is made for the banning of import then such drugs will not be allowed to be imported provided that nothing in the section shall apply to the import subject to prescribed conditions of small quantities of any drug or for the purpose of examination test analysis or personal use anything which is for the examination analysis or personal use and provided the quantity is small so any small quantity for the purpose of examination test or analysis is allowed provided further that the central government after consultation with the board by notification in the official gazette permit subject to any condition specified in the notification the import of any drug or class of drug not being of standard quality so if there is an emergency or something and the government thinks that the drugs are not able to meet the standard quality but still they are required to buy that drug in the interest of the nation they will can go ahead and buy the particular medicine or drug or cost further section 10a says uh, says that the power of the central government to prohibit import of drug or cosmetics in public interest so the central government if they are satisfied that the use of any drug or cosmetic is likely to involve any risk of human beings or animals so if there is a risk involved or if the drug does not have any therapeutic value claimed or contained or it contains ingredients in such quantity for which there is no justification and that in the public interest it is necessary to expedient so to do them that government may be by notification in the official gazette prohibit the import of such drugs and cosmetics so any particular drug or a product which has can cause risk to the human beings lacks therapeutic value or lacks a justification for use of the various ingredients can be prohibited by the government by making rules with effect for that now coming to the offenses offenses and penalties now we have studied a lot about the rules now let us see about the offenses whosoever himself or any other person on his behalf so a person or someone who is acting on his behalf is importing any drug which is deemed to be adulterated under section 9a or deemed to be spurious drug under section 9b or any spurious cosmetic referred to in 9 section 9d or any cosmetic of the nature referred to in clause ee of the section 10 shall be punishable with imprisonment for a term which may extend to 3 years and a fine which may extend to 5 years so we say it is basically 3 years and 5000 rupees of fine so you don't need to remember all the various sections like 9a 9b 9d just need to remember that this particular uh, rule a is about adulterated uh, drugs spurious drugs and cosmetics further point b says that any drug or cosmetic other than a drug or cosmetic referred to in clause a above the import of which is prohibited under section 10 or any rule made under this chapter shall be punishable with imprisonment for a term which may extend to 6 months and with a fine which may extend to 500 rupees so here you see the term it comes down to 6 months and the fine comes down to 1000 rupees point c says any drug or cosmetic in contravention to the provisions of any of the notification issued in section 10a so section 10a we studied on the top over here shall be punishable with imprisonment for a term which may extend to 3 years or with fine which may extend to 5000 rupees so again we see that here if you are breaking a government rule then the fine is higher 3 years and 5000 rupees secondly whoever having convicted of an offense so this is we are talking of a repeat offense so if it is a repeat offense so the punishment is obviously likely to double so under clause a and clause c 
if there's a punishment this clause or if you're using this clause so this is a and this is c and this is b so if you're, there's any problem in a and in c then in this particular case the punishment would become say five years and with a fine which may extend to 10,000 rupees. So this and this, the fine would be this. And B says under clause B or subsection 1, it is again convicted of an offense under the clause shall be punishable with imprisonment which may extend up to one year and with a fine which may extend to 1,000 rupees. For this particular section, the fine would uh, the punishment would double up and it would become one year and one thousand rupees so you see whenever uh, when this was the amount the double up to this one and when the conditions were a and c the punishment became from three years it became 10 years and from 5000 it became 10000 Thank you students.